everyone, welcome back. This is Nirindana here from Leo Tales, and in today's video, we'll be checking out some of my favorites of the brand Conscious Chemist. These are also best sellers, so over time, I realized that I have about five to six products from this brand. So, I'm gonna just quickly uh, share with you my thoughts on these products, okay? So, without wasting much time, let's get started. All the product links will be in the description box, you can check that out. Starting with the first one, which is the Hyaluronic Gel Cream. I would say it is something that will suit all skin types, even if you're oily, it will suit you. Uh, it is lightweight, like non-greasy, but it is not like a gel texture, it's more like a lotion. And the pump dispenser, it is the airless pump packaging, which is very convenient. You're getting about 50 ml product in around 450 rupees, which is like a good deal. And the brand Conscious Chemist as such, their products are free from sulfates, uh, parabens, spindle oils, etc. So the ingredient list is neat also. So people who have any skin type, oily, combination, sensitive, it should not be a problem. If you want something super lightweight, this may not be your product. But if you want a fair amount of hydration and if you want to layer it with something also, then you can definitely go for the Conscious Chemist Hyaluronic Gel Cream. The next one is the True Biome. So this one is the Pigmentation Correction Cream. It contains four amazing ingredients. Ingredients which are like, you know, must-haves for pigmentation. Kojic Acid. Tranexamic acid, azelaic acid, and then our very famous and favorite niacinamide. So these three acids, tranexamic, kojic, and azelaic, you see them in you know all these bestseller products also, like internationally acclaimed products also for pigmentation. These ingredients are like stars, and I'm really happy that Conscious Chemist has brought all the three together. Uh, the pink color, well, it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't have any fragrance also. I like the pink color, but yeah, it doesn't serve any purpose as such. I apply it around my lip area and this area. This is where I have pigmentation, and I've been using it for about a month. And whenever I use, the next day I follow up with sunscreen. And on days I use this, I obviously do not add any other actives in my routine because already acids are there so my routine will be simple like face wash some uh, hyaluronic serum or something like that the um, true biome and followed with a very simple moisturizer like by formula rx or something like that i feel there is a change in pigmentation it takes time daily but i think some lightening has happened especially on my upper lip area you can use it on your underarms back neck wherever you have pigmentation issue you can try this one the ingredient list itself is the star here because these are like well-known tried and tested ingredients if you're using just for the face this 50 gram is kind of gonna last for a while because you don't need so much quantity also uh, just make sure that you do patch test before you know jumping fully into the routine but other than that i think the true biome is a clear winner i might repurchase once i finish the tub if the pigmentation is like you know like there is a huge change in it then i might stop there but if i think the change is very gradual but it's happening i will definitely go ahead and get a next tub also or the next tube also so conscious chemist i think in december or november launched a range of three body creams one is an intense moisturizer body cream which is for all skin types then body cream with retinol and then body cream with exfoliator bump escape is the name so because there is urea it has a classic fragrance also like urea scent is there it's not a very pleasant fragrance but you don't really have to use it on your entire body also this comes in a hundred gram quantity you can use it on your bum hands feet especially if you shave a lot then bumpy skin can be a problem you can use it in all those areas it's a light creamy colored creamy um, textured cream <laughs> not very heavy and i find it good I, in the sense that whenever i apply my skin usually my sensitive skin is not breaking out or anything i obviously I apply it on my body and i think there is a you know there's a slight difference that is happening my skin is not extremely bumpy but whenever i shave and all i feel some bumpiness is there so right after i would apply this i use it up to three or four times in a week very gentle and this is something good for starters also like beginners also not starters <laughs> beginners as well you can also try the retinol based body cream because if you have wrinkles and all if it's a starting point of wrinkles and all in your body then retinol can be a great ingredient but if you have bumpy skin then definitely check out the bumps escape body exfoliant pigment character so they say it will correct the pigmentation as well as exfoliation which is exactly why i think it is a great choice for bum because most of us have pigmentation in the bum area as well as uh, bumpy skin so you can definitely try this uh, anywhere on your body next product that i really enjoy is this berry bright range i have two products from this range i really like this range so this is the berry bright i have almost like finished about 60 percent of this one Soothing and calming face mask. It comes with a spatula also, like a not a spatula, an applicator brush. It's kind of cute. See, it, 
it's convenient also so this one looks like jam blueberry jam this is not particularly for oily skin for any skin type it's fine it contains niacinamide and berry complex so normally when i apply mask on my oily skin it will dry out my skin which i don't like so, but the gel mask is very soothing and cooling so if your skin is already you know acting up or if you just went out in the sun and if your skin is like really uh, you know irritated and all then you can use this mask the only difficulty of a gel mask is that to remove it you need to use a wipe wet wipe or something and first remove the uh, mask entirely and then wash it off because you cannot wash a mask as such if it is a gel mask but that is not a problem at all you can easily remove it and once you remove it your skin definitely feels soft at least my skin it doesn't feel stretchy it feels soft it feels calm which is very important because that is one of their claims and i've tried it because uh, you know after so much sun exposure my skin will be like you know it will be acting up like crazy redness here and there but whenever i use this mask it already has a cooling sensation and it really is very soothing on the skin and the quantity is 50 gram which is good because you can definitely use it for you know multiple number of times for your face and neck they also have another range for acne prone skin they contain a mask and a face wash um you can try that but irrespective of your skin type if you want a nice soothing mask which smells good and all then you can go for the berry bright mask the last product of conscious chemist that i enjoy is the berry bright sunscreen and there are so many best selling sunscreens in the market right now i'm not sure if this is considered as best seller but i strongly suggest it should be <laughs> this one contains niacinamide and blackberry extracts it is pa triple plus spf 50 and for all skin types the only problem of the sunscreen is that it smells like yogurt so if you have sensitive skin if you do not like fragrance then you may not like the product but other than that even if you are sensitive skin and if you are okay with the fragrance like in my case you can easily apply this this is non greasy non oily it has a slight Uh, purplish color but it blends so beautiful on skin and no pilling oh, i love the sunscreen i mean it's it's like around 300 rupees for 50 ml it goes out of stock once in a while on amazon and i can totally understand why i'm going to stock this up because it is so so lightweight and gentle on skin you can apply it on your face and neck it will not cause any oiliness or build up or anything you will love the sunscreen if you are on the lookout for a good SPF 50 protection sunscreen which is lightweight and easy on the pocket irrespective of your skin type especially oily skin or humid weather you can go for the conscious chemist berry bright sunscreen <sighs> so that's it for today's video i hope you guys liked it i kind of realized that i have a lot of products of conscious chemist and i think that is the reason also i do like the packaging and i also like the pricing which is like you know very affordable and very competitive and the ingredient list is also good and there can be hits and misses of this brand but fortunately for me all the products i have tried have been only hits no misses yet so happy with that so that's it for today's video we will meet again with another all the product links are in the description box you can check that out that's it we will meet again until then take care bye